Now, the government faced embarrassment last week when it admitted failing to meet its target for cutting the numbers of people coming to the UK. Later this morning, UKIP will announce what it would do to control how many people come here to work. We can get a preview of that from the party's leader, Nigel Farage, who joins us from our central London studio. Mr Farage, good morning. Uh, you're going to... You, you would, if you could, uh, nail immigration. You'd, uh, you've said you'd have two and a half thousand more border agency staff, you'd have an Australian style point system for people getting work visas. How many people do you think should be coming to Britain to work in terms of net migration? Well, I mean, last year there were 27,000 people that came to work in Britain um, who, would, who would have passed that point style system in that they had skills to bring, they hadn't got criminal records, they hadn't got life threatening illnesses, uh, they, would, they would have earned, uh, you know, good money, paid taxes, and been without doubt a benefit to our society. So that was 27,000 people. Uh, that qualify for that. Now, obviously, uh, that number will vary a bit every year, but all of those people that come will have to bring with them health insurance and will not be able to claim benefits of any kind until they've been here and paid into the tax system for five years. And that, I think, is a fair way of dealing with people that want to come to Britain to work. 27,000 is very, very low compared to the 300,000, uh, which is the latest figure we've had. Your migration spokesman, Stephen Wolfe, was talking last week about... 50,000. So the figures seem to be sort of varying a bit. Well, well what he said was up to 50,000, but as I say, actually, that's a very high number because it's 27,000 is the number that would have qualified under the Australian style point system. What we're saying is this uh, we're saying we want an end to uncontrolled mass immigration, an end to unskilled labour coming into Britain in vast quantities. We already have a huge stock of migrant labour in this country and a lot of British people uh, who themselves are struggling to find work. Mm. Uh, you, the, the rules would have would say twenty seven thousand pounds would have to be earned by people coming into this country to work. Starting salary for a registered nurse is just over twenty one thousand. The average registered nurse earns about twenty three thousand pounds. So. No space no. for nurses coming here. No, I do accept that with the health service uh, there would be some exemptions. However, uh, we shouldn't need to be bringing in foreign nurses in big numbers. We should be training enough of our own. All this would have to be done once Britain had left the EU. You can't do it while we're still part of the EU, can you? Well, of course, that's right. And, and actually, uh, to have an immigration debate with any of the other parties is frankly meaningless uh, because they can't really give you a policy of any kind at all because we have a total open door unconditionally to nearly half a billion people from Europe. And I want us to trade with Europe, to cooperate with Europe, to be friendly with Europe, but the open door simply has to close. Right. This new visa point system, then 2,500 more border agency staff, a new Crango set up to sort it all out. How much is that going to cost? Uh, well, to have two and a half thousand extra staff will cost an extra 200 million. But just bear this in mind. Given that immigration has been the number one issue on people's minds in this country in terms of, of politics when they think about it, we only spend a quarter of 1% of government expenditure on controlling our borders. So we're talking about an item uh, that, compared with everything else, is very small indeed. Have you costed the whole thing out there? You talk about £200 million for the extra border yeah. agency staff. What about the commission that you're setting out? What about sorting out this, the, the paperwork involved in this visa point system? Uh, well, in fact, that, I mean, you, you say paperwork. I mean, you know, most of this would be done, nearly all of this now would in fact be done online. Uh, we are talking in total, you know, uh, about a few hundred million pounds. That sounds a lot of money, but given the importance of this issue, and think of the savings. You know, if we're able to stop illegal immigration into Britain and to control legal uh, migration into Britain, particularly of low-paid workers, the net benefits economically will be huge. You want to reduce uh, the amount of migration from low-skilled Eastern, Euro Eastern European workers, but aren't those workers who are here already working doing the jobs that many other people don't want to do? Well, I get a bit tired of being told uh, that all British workers, particularly young ones, are lazy, useless and can't be bothered. Uh, and what I've seen travelling around the country are a lot of frustrated people uh, who very much want to work uh, but find it increasingly difficult because there is this, this unlimited supply of, of migrant labour from southern and eastern Europe that many of the bigger employers 
prefer to use. So I think we should stop doing down our own people and start giving them more opportunities. And also, if we do stop this uncontrolled supply of migrant labour, the effect will be that wages will start to go up. Do you still believe that traffic jams on the M4 are caused by too many immigrants in this country? <laughs> i tell you what I do believe, uh, that the population of this country was 55 million uh, 25 years ago. It is now 64 million. On current uh, immigration into Britain, if we, unless we get a grip, it'll go up to 70 and then 80 million. Uh, does that lead to more congestion? Does it mean a more overcrowded country? Does it mean longer waiting times at accident and emergency? Does it mean fewer places at primary school? Yes to all of those. Nigel Farage, thanks very much. Thank you.